Hi everybody, Mike Philpott here again from Multimedia Interiors. Uh, we get asked all the time in this day and age of streaming TV services, Apple TVs, etc. Hey, why can't I just control my TV with my phone or my iPad? It's actually a really good question, but you have to think about the different things you're doing with your remote control, something you take for granted all the time. There's one-step operations and there's multi-step operations, and you have to look at it from that perspective to decide what's best for controlling your system. A lot of times it's a mix, but anyway, if you think about it, if you want to turn your TV and your surround sound system, etc., on, what do you do currently with your remote control? You hit the button that says on. You want to turn it off? You hit the button that says off. It's that simple. You want to turn the volume up? You hit volume up. You want to mute it? You hit mute. One button, one function, it does what you want it to do. It's as simple as that. Now, if let's say you wanted to do that with your phone, well, you have to pull out your phone. Sorry, it was right next to me. Turn it on, unlock it, go to the right app. Then you have to tell it, hey, I'm watching TV, and then hit power or hit volume, etc. It's a multi-step operation to do something that can be done quite simply with one push of a button. A lot of people, if you're like me, when I sit down and watch TV, my brain turns off. And I'm just sitting there and I'm channel surfing. I'm repeatedly hitting that channel up, channel up, channel up, channel up in the previous channel button. If I want to do that on my phone, that's pretty cumbersome. So these one-step operations really are best done with a traditional remote control. Plus, they often can consolidate that myriad of remote controls for your cable box, your streaming box, your television, your surround sound system, your Blu-ray player. All of those things have remote controls. We can consolidate them in one thing. Now, where app control really comes into play is things that require a little more in-depth interaction. If you're trying to find, uh, name a movie or a TV show you wanna say, watch on Netflix. Well, you can hunt around and pack, et cetera, and find it on the remote control and do it quite quickly and pretty well. But if you really wanna get in depth, you can just search for it and say, click, play to TV. That's where you get a little more in depth if you wanted to do that. So we do feel there's a place for things like apps, especially for music services. Uh, they do quite well. But for day-to-day -day TV viewing, etc., we still think our traditional remote control with buttons is the best way to go. Happy to help you figure all this stuff out. Just reach out to us on our website, www.multimediainteriors.com, or give us a ring at 619-296-4664. Thanks.